Thank you kindly. Next up, Lee Fox. Local agilist extraordinaire. Hey everyone. All right, so when I was here at DevOps uh, last year, 2015, I attended Box.com's chat ops uh, uh, discussion. Loved it, I thought it was awesome. So I decided that I was gonna bring that back to uh, my company and do some stuff there. And what I found out was, you know, chat ops isn't necessarily just for the operations people. It's for people who are outside of chat ops. So, you know, let's go ahead and, and ask questions first of all. What is it? I don't have time, 15 seconds. Jason Hands right there, talk to him when I'm done, all right? So, um, what do we normally use chat ops for? A lot of operational things. You might want to spin up servers, bring them down, deploy some code. You might want to look at log, log files. Things are going to help you in your operational mode. But is it really limited to that? Can I find somebody else in my organization that can actually use this and help bring this, uh, this adoption around to me? Yes, scrum masters, office managers, QAs, you name it, anybody in there can, can do this. And I've got a couple of ideas I wanted to share with you, things that you can take back to your organization, get it going, and get other people to help you. So there are code reviews. I mean, it's great. Look at this example up here. You've got a bot that's going and polling uh, to find out their outstanding code reviews. It then uses public shame as a tool to get your developers to do their code reviews. It's incredibly powerful. You might have uh, some sprint work. Let's say that you are one of those idealistic, agile organizations where everybody is cross-trained and everybody is, is, can do every single thing. If you live in that dream, go ahead and have your bot just hand out the next work, dole it out. Uh, you can create, uh, keep abreast of news and information. Uh, RSS feeds can uh, pipe into your chat room. Everybody can see what's going on. They can have some conversations about it. It's uh, a great way to keep everybody informed. And then there's documentation, speaking of keeping people informed. Don't you hate it when people are coming up and asking you, where is the docs for this application? Where's the docs for this? Again and again and again. You just want to go and stab them in the neck with a pencil? Well, have the chat bot go and, and respond to this stuff for you. Uh, you can go and do things that are crazy uh, for your scrub masters to schedule a sprint. You know, if you've got a lot of things that have to be done, if you want to go and schedule uh, a conference room and uh, arrange drinks and, and send out email messages, have a bot do that work for you. You can work on sprint sizing. So if you're doing planning poker and you want to have a good idea of uh, what a given size topic is, go and look back into your, your JIRA uh, boards, uh, but do it programmatically and make it self um, self-service. You can go and report on your, your productivity for what's happening amongst uh, your, your sprint teams and if they're actually making the deliverables. Uh, and you can talk about it and you can reminisce about it. You can cry about it. Whatever it needs to be done, you can talk about your productivity. You can even go and order food for those late nighters. I am serious. Look at that URL. Uh, Taco Bell now supports ordering food through, uh, through Slack. But if your manager wants to do this for you, slap him. Nobody orders from Taco Bell if you're doing an all-nighter. All right, HR questions. You have a lot of people uh, who want to know, how do I change my benefits? How do I update my number of de uh, dependents? And how can I um, get uh, changes to my 401k information? Go ahead and just put that into a chatbot uh, um, uh, function. You can announce birthdays and make this all nice and social. Uh, you can uh, do announcements for, for anniversaries and celebrate everybody's milestones at your organization. Uh, there's customer service, so you can have um, polling of, of Twitter, uh, polling of Facebook accounts. You can find out when people are, are getting pissed off about you, and you can see if there's some way that you can, you can actually address the issues that are coming up and allow your customer service team to uh, work on this stuff. You can take customer service, or, I'm sorry, you can take surveys throughout your organization, even as, if it's something as simple as, where do we want to have happy hour tonight? Go and put that out there and let everybody vote on it. Make a, a truly company-wide collaborative event. But how can we, uh, we do this for uh, some of the groups outside of uh, operations? Look for questions. What are the static questions that people are asking again and again and again? You want to go and find things that are really annoying to go and have to answer. You also want to look for repetitive tasks. So uh, if there's something that just really annoys you and pisses you off and you don't want to do it, it's, it's just uh, degrading work, Put it into a chat bot. Find uh, some way to automate it and make you happy. But most and foremost, oh, no, I'm sorry, uh, look for the annoyances. Um, so f again, find the things that are going to, to piss you off, the things that you don't want to do that you would put off to onto the noobs and uh, automate those. But uh, the last thing I want to leave you with is 
try to uh, look for the laziness. Find the laziest developer you know. Give him the chat ops framework and make him answer all those questions. Make him do those annoying tasks. You will get your chat ops uh, pushed out to the rest of the company faster than you can possibly imagine. Thank you. All right. <laughs>